Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the laminar and turbulent flow of blood in blood vessels. The blood flow is affected by the smoothness or roughness of the inner lining of blood vessels. The texture of blood vessels results in either the turbulent or the laminar that is smooth flow. First we shall discuss laminar flow in smaller blood vessels. In smaller blood vessels the flow is streamlined and continuous. It is characterized by a parabolic velocity profile across the vessel. जब blood move कर रहा होता है तो इस जो fluid के characters हैं कि एक vessel में ये parabolic movement कर रहा होता है. Flow also occurs in layers which are moving at different velocities. Flow is zero at the wall and maximum at the center. इस तरह से ये flow के characters हैं smaller vessels में और laminar flow के characters हैं. जो different layers बन रही हैं, एक layer दूसरी के उपर जो slide past कर रही है, उसके लिए जो force है, that is provided by the pressure difference which uh, supplies the force required to slide uh, the layers to slide past each other. Dear students, in comparison to laminar flow in smaller vessels, the laminar flow in larger vessels is pulsatile. Ye up down hota hai, pulse ki form mein. It has more complex velocity profile than the continuous laminar flow of smaller vessels. In larger vessels, blood is first accelerated and then slowed down with each heartbeat. The reason of pulsatile laminar flow is the elasticity of larger blood vessels which expand and relax with pressure oscillation. Larger blood vessels jo hai, jab pressure, blood pressure zyada hota hai, to they expand, aur jab pressure kam hota hai, diastolic blood pressure jab aata hai, to these blood vessels become uh, relaxed. Iske lawa, ye jo pulsatile laminar flow hai, larger vessel ka, iska ek aur character bhi hai, wo ye, ke jis vakt aortic walls, heart ke aortic walls, close hote hain, us work, the direction of flow in these larger vessels is reversed. Us work blood peechhe ki taraf wapas jane ki koshish bhi karta hai aur thodi si turbulence paida hoti hai. Dear students, now we shall discuss the turbulent flow. In a turbulent flow, direction of fluid movement is not aligned. It is haphazard and a turbulent flow requires higher energy to move blood through a vessel. Highest turbulence occurs in the proximal portions of aorta and pulmonary artery. Ye jo highest turbulence hai, ye do muakke par hoti hai. Pehli at the time of ventricular contraction or dusri during the backflow of blood when pulmonary and aortic valves close. Turbulence also happens if the smoothness of blood vessel is reduced by any type of obstruction in the blood vessel. For example, aam taur ke upar blood vessels mein fatty deposits jama ho jate hai, jo arterial walls ko narrow kar dete hai aur wo smooth nahi rehti. Is se blood flow mein turbulence paida hoti hai. Dear students, the turbulent flow or turbulence 
is uncommon in peripheral undivided smaller vessels with smooth walls however turbulence also occurs in these vessels in some situations misal ke taur par jab blood velocities both high ho agar humne bahut shadeed qisam ki koi exercise ki hai blood velocity bahut zyada hai to aisi surat mein jo peripheral smaller vessels hain ya uh, smaller arteries hain जिनमें के नॉर्मली लेमिनर फ्लो होता है वहाँ पर भी टर्बुलेंट फ्लो हो सकता है